So I thought I'd start the speaking portion of this video by telling you my mental status. I took a Klano, uh, I'm thinking, uh, about three hours ago, and then I slept an hour of that period of time. So um, I'm refreshed from the sleep. I was feeling very worn out. I just knocked the guitar, that's not good. Uh, I, I was feeling very war worn out before this. And um, the sleep really brought me to my senses. And uh, how I got to sleep, um, I was trying to fight it. I was saying to myself, um, you know, have a coffee. If you go to sleep now, you'll sleep for hours. If you go to sleep now, you're, you'll sleep for hours. And I didn't want that, but I got woken up uh, only an hour into sleeping. And that's pretty ideal uh, for uh, what I needed to rest for. And uh, it, it, this is a guess, but I assume um, I will be able to sleep at a proper time tonight which will be nice. And um, so I, how I got to sleep was not taking any caffeine. And I, 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 from now on, I'm going to make an effort not to take too much caffeine. When I woke up, I drank a Sprite and I uh, was hoping that would get me, you know, awake enough to do something other than what I've been doing, like I've been limiting my Facebook use and just listening to the same album over and over and over. And it's, a, it's an amazing album. Um, it's not the same album I was listening to when I first started uh, learning. Uh, but, uh, you know, you hear an album seven times a day. <laughs> seven times a day. I don't know if I mispronounced that right now. So, okay, maybe I am still a little mentally compromised, but I had a Sprite, um, and that didn't, I didn't feel at peak mental function, and I had one small, the smallest cup we have, I had one of those for coffee, and uh, so I think I can hear a little bit of over-caffeination in my voice, even though I just had one coffee, and I'm nearing the end of the cycle, uh, the, uh, in terms of how I understand the Klano to affect me, the cycle of the Klano's effectiveness. Um, and uh, I have, because I denied myself Klano all morning, um, I took it at noon. Because of that, I have like free range to basically, as long as I, I don't, as long as I, I, I don't like use it to intentionally get high, but what I mean is like whenever I, for, for the rest of the day, whenever I feel anxious, um, I don't have to worry about taking it too soon or anything like that. Um, so yeah, let's practice. I imagine those who are following these videos no, uh, if they don't want to see the speaking portion, I do speak throughout uh, playing guitar, but if they don't want to see the speaking portion, they just skip ahead seven minutes or however long I usually take. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing this for free, and uh, I'm not saying it's, it's worth anything, but I'm also doing it for me. And uh, yeah, okay, so bring my glasses up and... So this will be my third practice of the day, and if you noticed the first time I went through that scale, uh, this is E minor, I think, yes, um, the first time I went through that scale, I was not pressing down very hard, and I don't blame that on a dysfunctional mind, I blame that on sore fingers. 
Um, I don't know the ideal amount you want your fingers to get sore in order to develop the proper calluses, which uh, for some reason I, I, I want those calluses. Uh, obviously it's going to help me play, but also, um, I don't know, it's like, like, a, like proof to people. I can prove I play guitar by showing them my fingers, I guess. Not that I really talk to anyone, really. Uh, these days, although one day I will, so blah blah blah. <laughs> So yeah, I got those down. So what what are those that I? That's D and D minor. So I have D and D minor memorized. E. I always forget about A. A isn't that complicated, but I always forget it's something on the chart that I'm trying to learn. And I guess. that because my fingers are so close together it takes a lot of pressure uh, I have to apply a lot of pressure and also I'm told the neck is bent although you know I'm, I'm slightly visually impaired but I can't really see it um, uh, I had a Toys R Us guitar and it had a bent neck and I it had a bent neck like if this neck is bent then this Toys R Us guitar it's like like yeah, I could compare it to various kinds of illnesses that have uh, degrees of sickness. <laughs> and basically this guitar was extremely sick. Uh, I hope that was abstract enough not to offend anyone who might know someone who's going through an illness. Uh, so anyways, let's do C. Uh, So that, that's more or less correct. I should come back to it because sometimes when I do C I do it down one and it sounds weird. I'll show you just, it, this is not a proper uh, shape. I mean, I guess if you wanted to play something weird, uh, I like weird music. Uh, that could be something you could include in your repertoire. That was very difficult to say. Um, I wonder what that sounds like strummed. Oh yeah, as a strum that I, I can't really picture that in a song. Um, so, the last video I went 30 minutes and I didn't even do G. And uh, I realized it as I turned off the camera. I was like, I didn't do G. And G is like the most important thing that I have to do. Um, because it's so difficult and I always mess it up. It's so, like, filming this isn't... The primary goal of filming this is not entertainment. Um, but... Um, 
to look for myself to learn. Okay, let's start from this end first. It's so hard not to mute the strings, and the website. That's almost it. Um, the website I go to, or the website I was recommended, one of them, uh, it says it has over 2,000 uh, shapes or chords or whatever. Um, and it, it's a simple design, but complex. It's like, I imagine a lot of uh, scientific sites, there's not a whole lot of pictures and layout and the special stuff that makes it look appealing to the eyes. So this is a very stripped down site, uh, but it's very complex. So it's almost like you're uh, applying science to the guitar. And there's something called Math Rock, which I think is dated now, and uh, people don't listen to anymore. But I remember hearing about it, and I was like, how is it math? And I forget if like, the musicians who played it were good at math, or somehow math came into the picture. So... I'm going to go like that. And press down hard. And by pressing I can feel I'm touching another string. So the problem is my index finger is touching another string, and it would be easier if my index finger were longer, or it's a very awkward shape. I picked blindly and I don't know if I did it right. So I'm sitting, what I'm doing is sitting up and seeing how that affects my fingers. But then I have to look down. just talking about and uh, it has a drop down box that says I want chords for beginners and that didn't really seem to change uh, very much um, the the advanced so beginners have major minor seven five I don't I guess seven and five have to do with how for <coughs> excuse me how far down the fretboard you are um, but when I go to, I ask it to tell me what G is, it tells me it is, and which way is top? Oh, fuck. Okay, I'll try both ways and see which way sounds right. So it wants, it wants a finger there. A finger there and a finger. Basically the same thing, I guess, except one less finger. Let me compare it. Yeah, it's basically the same thing except one less finger. So. Sounds very similar. I mean, in my mind, the more complex one is more real. 
uh, I don't know how to say it. It's like it's more of it's more legitimate because it's harder, um, and uh, that doesn't really make any sense. So let's try C again. Like the. There's no reason why, in my understanding of music, something that's harder is better. Actually, I, yeah, I think there's like genres of like genres of music where the more difficult, like my dad likes Eric Clapton, and they say all the great guitar players. So like, I'm sure Eric Clapton could knows all two thousand of the frets on the uh, website. And uh, uh, that's definitely not my goal. Um, and I like some of the Clapton songs, but then you get into like other people who are lesser known, who are just like, it's less about the music sounding good as far as I'm concerned and more about technical skill. Um, and I would like to, my, my aim with guitar is to play things that sound good, especially good to me. Though, so I believe with music, uh, music is almost like sketch comedy. You need other people for it to really be a thing. There are solo musicians. Um, anyways, uh, there, there's no reason why I need to tell you all these obvious things that you already know. Ah, see, I told you like 10 minutes ago, I sometimes confuse where to start C. And I believe that, that. What? Okay, so which one is it? Oh, I was right the first time. Okay. I remember one video I was going over C and it just sounded more and more wrong every time I did it and I, I didn't know why it was happening. This may be from years of using my fingers for other things, but when I push down on my ring finger, the pinky finger gets weaker. Okay, so I think harmonic minor and major minor, is that what these are called? Harmonic minor, natural minor, okay. this in a long time but these my uh, these scales were sent to me by a friend um, I'm in general I think for these videos I'm not not gonna mention any any names uh, just that's my choice if, if you really want to know who it was message me uh, but my amp started making a different kind of buzzing I don't know why um, so yeah, my friend, uh, I'm always going to refer to whoever helps me as my friend. My friend, uh, sent me these, uh, scales. Uh, 
And he was very wise in sending me these because these are extremely simple and easy to memorize and remember. And what I should be doing is working on getting it as fast as possible. And that, uh, part of that is doing like... You know, that kind of thing. I don't know if you saw my fingers there. I think you can see my fingers. I don't know how well, it may, maybe if you full screen, if, you, if you're interested in following my fingers. I had a video where uh, the camera was basically here and I was basically like leaning into it so you could see as close as possible. But uh, I don't think we have to get that complicated. This seems to be a, 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 a good working camera angle. So, um, yeah, this one, which I don't really like to do because... Oh! Okay, I half looked, half didn't look, and I got it right. This one just, it makes me feel bad because I have a history of messing it up. Uh, so, but I should still work on it. was almost right. So that's all I'm going to do. It just it gives me a negative feeling. I don't like it. I was thinking uh, I, I, it's towards the end of the month and I'm going to get more money soon and I'm still very low on money so maybe I'm going to have to wait for a few months but I was thinking if I could get a microphone uh, I don't, just as an accessory, uh, like obviously I have a lot to learn on the guitar, but if I want to like, I don't know, I, 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 I've, most of my life I've tried to be a stand-up comedian, and I, I still want to do that, um, I think, it comes and goes, I had, I had like a few years where I was like, that dream is dead, and then it came back and I did all these shows. Um, anyways, uh, so a mic would be good for stand-up, especially if I had a, a, a good mic and a good amp, and I think that's a pretty good amp. Uh, I, it would, basically, uh, I, I would be able to start my own show any place where I had the negotiation skills to say to a bartender or bar owner uh, that I want to put on a show. And that's a huge uh, advantage uh, in terms of, you know, like it's, it's the scene is almost dangerous uh, in Toronto. Um, I mean, there's a lot of funny comedians, uh, but uh, I, I sense underlying danger. Um, and I can't really explain that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done with that portion of it, and I am going to... <laughs> Before, uh, for a lot of my videos, I would uh, do the practice, do the scales, then just practice playing around. And I had a friend who said um, I should uh, not care if I'm accidentally muting notes. And that's great advice, especially if you just want to feel good and just play, like, fun. Uh, but I have enough energy in me that I can try to perfect what I'm doing. Uh, which he also mentioned, this friend, that it's good to try to perfect. It's good to try to perfect. 
go to try to perfect. So see, that strum, that sounds okay, but uh, then when I, 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 I'm, I depressed my fingers, but okay, let's do this again. So that sounds like a perfectly legitimate strum, but when I do this, okay, it's more or less right, but then when I go like this, and now we see if that was actually done correctly. like no. Either either it was not done correctly or um, my fingers relaxed when I knew the storm was over so let's try that again and immediately go in to check to see if I was playing it right. Yeah that's definitely wrong so let's So that thing that I just did, that was my own invention. Uh, I'm sure other people do it. Um, but it's just checking to see if when I make a transition, uh, I'm not doing a sloppy job. So let's try that again. <laughs> Wait a minute, what am I going for here? I thought I had this memorized. Okay, so that. So let's try transitioning that again. Oh, my fingers are getting tired. That's what I'll call it. They're not really tired, they're just rebelling against me. Yeah, so at that point, I guess... Um, it's probably not surprising that I don't feel the stress that my hand went under. I guess, like, I need to build up hand muscles. I need to build up calluses. And now that I like shake my hand around, I feel a bit of like uh, exercise pain. Uh, if you don't know exercise pain, you probably have never exercised. <laughs> but you know, uh, in, in high school gym class, they say run 10 laps and you run 10 laps. And then they tell you in the morning, your legs will be sore. So that's it. That's the sore legs in my, in my hand. Uh, and it, I feel it, feel it when I uh, move it. It's mostly gone now. Uh, but that indicates muscle growth. Um, and it also indicates that I should probably stop playing. Um, so, 29 minutes. I talked through a lot of this. So it's hard to say how much I, how much of the time I was actually doing what I said like doing what this video is, it's a guitar video, um, 
but yeah, that's that's it for t today, probably. Maybe in a few hours. I, I do plan to be asleep, uh, awake uh, for a few more hours, and then sleep. Uh, and uh, I get into this state, especially if I drink coffee and mix it with clonazepam and so-and-so. I get into this state where I'm just... And I, 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 I'm limiting Facebook, so I'm going up to my parents a lot more to talk to them. And uh, I, I, w I, I assumed when I first started doing that that my parents would welcome me and want to hear from me because I haven't really been chatting with them for years. But I go up to them in this state of not fully conscious and paranoid and anxious and over-caffeinated. And uh, I can tell it's wearing on them, <laughs> their tolerance. For, uh, and I, I had this image in my head, I think, when I was drinking, that, oh, my parents love me so much and they'll do anything for me. And, um, and they do take very good care of me, but they also have, they're human, they get annoyed when annoying things happen. So yeah, that's what I'll say about that. And goodbye!